Let us know if you need fire support. Right. Hey everybody, it's uh, me, Starvox again. I'm back here in Tarkov. And I want to talk a little bit more about uh, SPTAKI again. Uh, some things have changed since uh, last I showed you my playing. I have more mods now, and they've been useful for my um, attempt at making a, uh, a simulator? A single player simulator system for, for Escape from Tarkov? Yeah. I'm gonna disable hit markers. I've been using them to uh, figure out just what my rounds are doing to the enemy. Especially useful for armor breaking and the uh, determining the usefulness of certain types of ammunition. And uh, I also have an armor style zoom key now. So I can zoom in on optics uh, regardless of whether they're scoped. Um, iron sights as well and I think we have uh, a Mons graphics mod running at the moment. I've disabled a lot of things. But one of the things that is still enabled is depth of field for scopes. Yes, indeed. So that'll be very nice. I'm out here with my uh, cut down M4 and a uh, beefy, heavily modified AK 103 with the uh, grenade launcher on it. And uh, all the tools that should be necessary to uh, try and survive. A raid here on the reserve match map match which um I've done some modifications to the AI again and replaced a lot of oh yeah I've replaced a lot of the regular scavs with uh, not so regular scavs and also almost completely eliminated uh, USEC PMCs from spawning, since I myself am USEC, but there are still some rogues. And, um, the other various modifications that I made to tweak the AI parameters, I think, ultimately resulted in making them far more difficult than they were before when I find them. And it seems like this time they might have found me first, so what I'm going to do is play around in this raid and, uh, try to escape, and I'm gonna highlight a couple of the Mods that I think are very enjoyable and that I've been uh, making fun special use of while uh, testing out this system. And uh, we'll just kind of see how it goes. You'll get a feel for how I'm trying to play and enjoy Tarkov these days in a very exclusively single player way. And um, hopefully I'll be able to showcase just um, what happens to me on a pretty regular basis now that I play the game. The uh, two things that I want in particular to show off are the airstrikes. There's um, uh, a cool m um, sort of compound mod that uh, grants a uh, strafe run from an A-10 that'll come in, as well as a helicopter that can be called into a smoke grenade. Well, actually, no, not to a smoke grenade, to a, a, a fixed position using the, uh, the range finder here. As well as the airstrike, uh, something that requires it. Um, yeah, for uh, extraction, just about anywhere from a raid, which I find really cool and dynamic, and has been helping me with my uh, enjoying the whole single-player dynamic. And then the other being a uh, an artillery strike mod, which itself is um, operating on a smoke grenade system. Oh, there's one. See that guy? He's in a good position for me to, uh... Whoops. Oh no, I have to... Ah, I was on the wrong key, sorry. Used to have an AK on two. It is not this time. Let's see if I can hit that guy's position with my GP25. He must have gone in the building. I guess that's a door there. Oh, I got that one right in the window. Oh, those are especially destructive. Pop some more in the vest here. Sort them around. I definitely brought enough to do some damage to somebody before I leave this place. Um, so yeah, whether I, uh, pop in and out because I have to edit out boring sections of this raid or if there doesn't actually turn out to be anything 
all that boring after all, then uh, I won't actually do much cutting away. And sorry if I'm speaking in a sort of disjointed fashion. It's utterly terrifying to be exposed in Tarkov. It was before, but it's more so now. There was a uh, brief time when I was uh, modding this at first, trying the different mods in the workshop, when I could run around pretty freely and uh, not face too much threat. But that time has passed, and things are now changed. And this Tarkov is scary and dangerous. someone now. <laughs> suppose he was alone. Did he start running because he heard me walking inside? Wow. A very short barrel. MPX with uh, no muzzle device. I'll take that. Hmm. I do like those. Ram can be useful sometimes. He had a lab's armband. Huh. Yeah, didn't use money on him. So, I've disabled the hit markers, but the, um... The kill tags remain. I suppose that is a separate option. I don't think I can open this gate. Nope. So I'm gonna crouch right here for just a sec. Open up the hit marker. Enable bleeding. Disabled. Kill feed. Disabled. Okay. I'm still not fully comfortable with going out there. It's usually a death sentence, and it feels like it is right now. There, of course, are mounted uh, weapons here and there. Automatic grenade launchers and mounted machine guns. Best to, uh... Try to carefully move through uh, one area at a time. Each time I find myself feeling confident and try to uh, sort of run through to the next uh, area, make a rapid transition, I get punished for it. They're always waiting and watching for me, or they're just milling about, making it dangerous. Doing things like that, frankly. I'm pretty sure that's the sound of the smaller improvised grenade. Don't want to spend too much time out here. Oh my god! Oh wow. He can fire straight through that. And, what's more... He struck my armor. Let's give him something to chew on. And then probably get back inside. I require cover from this one. It's so terrifying to, uh, see that the AI has a bead on you. Oh! When things like that happen. They can see me, but I can't quite see them. Do I have my, uh, oh, I do have thermals on. Maybe I can cheese it a bit. Pick out his position. Oh, there's two of them. There are two of them. You know what? You know what? An artillery strike would be pretty useful right about now. How's about? Oh, wait. They're running up on me. They're in. Oh, my God. He broke my arm. It was bad timing, I shouldn't have done that. 
I don't hear his friend yet. I was lucky to kill that one the way I did. Big risk pulling out that grenade. I thought I had more time, but I definitely did not. You good for a moment? How bad do you get me? Alright, I was able to fix all the damage. Fortunately, my PMC here in this, uh... Simulator of Tarkov, wow. Is equipped with a grisly medical kit. That solves so many problems. It's filled with all of the most advanced, most recent medical tools. That is two of them, so hopefully that's all I have to contend with right now. Sorry, I thought I heard something out there. Frankly, just in case I did. No. Okay. Changeover. Not doing too bad, but that was... That was fairly terrifying. I got shot at a lot and I did actually get hit. If it wasn't for my amazing medical supplies and a couple other factors at play, that could have been very difficult to deal with. Look at the tattoos on this guy. Oh my god, it's not over! There's still another one out there. It's time to leave. Unless I can just get that guy to, uh, come to this room as well. It's no good trying to trade fire through a doorway. He can just wait for me to, uh, pop my head out. But if he's feeling compelled to come get me, I can take advantage of that. That's why I have this particular M4 for these encounters. Hmm. Do I try and run out? I think I might have sufficient cover to uh, start getting over there and mix it all up. Okay, nothing just yet. Thermal? Cheeky thermal? Anything? No? Okay, that's terrifying. Run for it. <sighs> Alright. Now, despite the use of a mod that I had found that was supposed to prevent AI from being able to see, wow, through bushes, the AI definitely can easily still th see me uh, through foliage, and does often shoot me through said foliage, so... I don't feel safe approaching areas blocked by trees or bushes at the moment, because it's been so incredibly dangerous and unrewarding to try. This is not the best place, either. I think I heard somebody out there. I definitely heard somebody just now. Hello? Oh, wow. Bullets striking some surface. And boots striking some surface near me. Where? There. I think I got him. Yep, he's down. For sure. Now, were the bullet strikes I heard shot at him? Do I still have to worry about my man over there with a suppressed weapon? I think I'm going to try to make a run for this warehouse right here. Alright, I didn't die so far.
I should probably now try to get into those buildings over there, I think. Yeah. Run! Run swiftly, but run smartly. Try not to get myself into trouble. And try to watch where I'm going. This is the, uh, the rec center. The gymnasium and stuff. Yeah. I don't know if there's typically anybody in here. Good time to check my body. Still looking good. And I don't hear any activity. I don't think there's any other way to go up here either, no. There's no, like, roof access or anything. Does this open? Yeah. Okay, this goes out here. Cut through the gymnasium. Which brings me closer to these dorms here. And I just don't know where that shooter was before. Oh my god! I found him. Or he found me. Again. Did you hear that? Cause I did. What can I see if I go to the upper level of this building? Anything? Nope. Oh, okay. Oh. As usual, it's time for a storm in Tarkov. Maybe I should try to make a little thunder of my own. Shake up that shooter. He won't leave me alone! Oh no! This is a problem. This is a problem. Well, I just called in an artillery strike on this very building. Okay. Did, uh, did I get him? Are we good? Are we clear? What happened to him? Oh my god! That's what happened. He... He killed me. 